Hello guys. So today's our topic is CCT curve. That is continuous cooling transformation. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the TT curve, TTT curve, time temperature transformation. But the thing is that in the time temperature transformation, which is also known as isothermal transformation, we have to maintain a temperature. Like for periodic uh, uh, formation, we have to maintain the temperature in the range uh, between uh, above you nose know, that is 550 degree Celsius above and lower than 723. Uh, but it must have to maintain the temperature like this. But which is not possible in any furnace or any media. So uh, in general practice, what we do is we cool the media, uh, cool the uh, sample is or still by uh, a certain cooling rate and that is more practical which is in the industry so ccd curve is more important compared to ttt curve ttt curve just gives the idea of a transformation but ccd curve is the real practical in use so let us start what happens in ccd curve so in uh, CCT curve, we take a samples of steel like you, uh, we take a eutectoric steel uh, samples like 1, 2, 3 and that type of 7 samples we have taken. Okay. And after taking 7 samples, we heat this all 7 samples above the 723. Why 723? Because it is a eutectoid steel. And for eutectoid steel, the upper critical temperature and lower critical temperature both lying on A1. This is lower critical temperature as well as upper critical temperature because this is the eutectoid steel. Now, after raising the temperature above 723 plus 30 or 50 degree Celsius, uh, we cool the uh, steel by several rates and we get different micro constituents of steels. First of all, we do Cooling rate uh, is very very slow and when the cooling is, rate is very slow, what we get is that is the cooling rate is very slow represented by 1 this line 1 slope is very uh, represent the very slow cooling rate and in very slow cooling rate we get coarse pure light coarse pure light why it is coarse pure light because when we cool it below 723 degrees Celsius with very slow cooling rate the temperature is just below the 723 that means at below the 723 the diffusion rate will very high but the nucleation is slow because of evacuation period is very high so that uh, represent that uh, uh, our nucleation will be very slow and hence we get the coarse pure light as nucleation slow होने के बाद हमारे पास क्या होता है suppose this is a particle and हमारा इस पे nucleation हो रहा है and this is nucleation particle nucleated particles but इसमें nucleation बहुत ही slow हो रहा है but हमारा जो diffusion है वो fast हो रहा है so what happens the particles will be coarse next so this is our what happens in the very slow cooling rate after this we take another sample and cool it with slow rate but little bit faster compared to the one. Then what we get is the mixture of coarse plus fine pure light. Coarse plus fine pure light. When the temperature is below 723 degree and cooling rate is small but little bit faster than one we get a coarse pure light with fine pure light. So after this we take a third sample and again cool it but in this case we cool it uh, very not very slow but in a slow rate and what we get is this slow this is slow but compared to two it is fast and what we get is fine pure light fine pure light and this is the just above nose the three has reached just above nose of the ccd this is the nose of ccd 
we have done in the TTT curve that the body is knows this 550 degree Celsius this 550 degree Celsius so and in between the 723 to 550 degree Celsius if you if you cool the samples we get either coarse pure light coarse plus fine pure light or fine pure light mixture what is pure light pure light is a mixture of pure light is equal to mixture of what cementite plus alpha ferrite alpha ferrite next is these three are very slow cooling rates but now we take another sample and cool it with intermediate cooling rate intermediate in the sense we cool it with intermediate rate that means another it is very very slow now it is very very fast so what we get is in this case this is our four in this case the cooling rate is very not very slow not, not very fast intermediate cooling rate that's why uh, we get pearlitic transformation here pearlitic transformation here but pearlite is not completed because the completion of the transformation represented by this line as we have seen in the TTT curve and this is starting of transformation and uh, again when we cool the particles we see that the transformation start at that point and end at that point but in the TTT curve this transformation start in that point and end at parallel to this point ok but uh, after uh, doing this we see that uh, in the TTT curve the same C curve is, uh, is represented by transformation and in CCT curve it is also same but difference is that in TTT curve this is parallel in CCT curve this is just inclined that means transformation not occurring in the trans uh, isothermal temperature now this is the nose just over the nose we have the intermediate cooling rate and what we get is we made um, we have a pallatic transformation but it is not completed but after some time it goes down and it reaches to the martensitic martensitic region and in martensitic region martensite which is very very high constraint of steel is made as we know from the TTT curve and that's why during the 4 during 4 as an intermediate cooling rate we get pearlitic as well as pearlitic plus martensite both as a constraint depend on the cooling rate the pearlite may be 60% martensite may be 40% or both are 50-50% that will be happens now अब हम लोग क्या करते हैं इसको कूलिंग रेट को और इंक्रीज करते हैं एंड वी इंक्रीज द कूलिंग रेट वेरी वेरी फास्ट दिस इज द कर्व 5 कर्व 5 रिप्रेजेंट वेरी फास्ट कूलिंग रेट व्हिच इज नॉट कटिंग द दिस स्टार्टिंग कर्व स्टार्टिंग सी कर्व ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन स्टार्टिंग सी कर्व को इसने टच नहीं किया दैट मींस नो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अकर एंड दिस इज डायरेक्टली गो टू द uh, martensitic temperature this is known as drastic cooling rate so in drastic cooling rate we get a uh, pure martensite formation in curve 5 we get a pure martensite formation pure martensite this is MS that is martensite in starting temperature and this is MS that is martensite uh, and it final uh, martensite formation and it at this minus 50 degrees Celsius. Now, in this figure, uh, we have seen that in TTT curve, we have seen uh, baryatic transformation, but here it is not possible to make a baryat from uh, continuous cooling. It is uh, due to, as we have seen the, as intermediate, in the intermediate cooling rate, it is, uh, the curve goes like here, but it is not uh, goes to that region where baryat is formed. So what we have to do, we have to cool the cool the uh, specimen from there and after that we have to take isothermal transformation that is 6 after drastic quenching we have to uh, the drastic quenching must be uh, uh, from uh, just below the 50, uh, 550 degree Celsius and after that we have to maintain the temperature and then it is 
इट विल मेक बैनाइटिक बैनाइटिक स्ट्रक्चर बैनाइटिक स्ट्रक्चर इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स सॉर्बाइट एंड टॉर्साइट सॉर्बाइट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फैदरी बेनाइट एंड टॉर्साइट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आवर नेडल टाइप स्ट्रक्चर एंड एसिकुलर बेनाइट सो Uh, that's why we can say that uh, in a biotic uh, the biotic structure is not possible by the continuous cooling and the next is the curve number 7 curve number 7 this curve number 7 is passes just by touching the nose as a tangent and as we see that it uh, after touching the nose it passes outer region from the Beginning, beginning of the transformation. As if the rate, cooling rate is equal to this seven curve, that means if it touches the nose, then it will form a pure martin side. Or if the cooling rate is higher than seven, then it is also making martin side, pure martin side structure. But if the cooling rate is slow than this seven, then it will form. Uh, it will be intermediate uh, cooling rate and it will form a pure uh, light plus martin side structure and it is, if it is very slow then it is it will become a coarse pure light fine lights and uh, mixture of that so this cooling rate is very special and it is known as cc ha uh, ah, continuous cooling okay, critical uh, cc ah continuous cooling Uh, temperature okay so at this this very very critical uh, critical temperature from uh, here we can uh, uh, describe that whether uh, martin side will form or pure light is formed okay so this is the all about the ccd curve and in the next lecture we will see about the pelatic transformation bannatic transformation and martin side transformation how it will meet thank you